In a distant city, immersed in the darkness of secrets and horrors, there was a house, abandoned and forgotten by society. No one dared to approach this gloomy place, because the story associated with this house was much darker and more terrible. A long time ago, a family with a young daughter lived in this house. Their life seemed perfect, but one day something terrible happened. The father, unjustly accused of a crime he did not commit, was brutally murdered right in this house. Mother and daughter were left alone with a ghost of the past, a cursed house and the soul of a dead father, in which unspeakable anger and revenge remained. Falling into despair, they tried to commit suicide, but their souls could not leave this gloomy house. In the shadow of this abandoned house lurked a terrifying story that made even the bravest tremble. A long time ago, when the world did not yet know such terrible stories, there lived a maniac who disappeared without a trace after committing his terrible crimes. He was an ordinary man, masking his dark essence under the image of a respectable neighbor. One dark evening, he broke into this house and attacked the family who lived there. His victims were a mother and daughter. Fear and despair filled the air when they realized that no one would come to their aid. The father of the family, in a powerless rage, fought for his loved ones, but his terrible death was inevitable. The maniac ended his life right in front of the survivors. After that, he forcibly tied up the mother and daughter, depriving them of any hope of salvation. The maniac began his sophisticated tortures, which do not know pity and leniency. Every day he tormented their bodies and souls, harassing them to the last. Inside this house, there were moans of torment and curses. Every night the walls of this house groaned and screamed, as if they kept secrets darker than death itself. Blood and fear permeated every corner, and this house turned into a temple of horror. The creaking of the doors sounded like the moaning of ghosts begging for release. And yet, no one heard their pleas. The days merged into nights, and the nights became painfully long. They felt the indifference of a merciless maniac, ready to destroy their souls. But when they looked in the mirror, they saw only faces distorted with fear and the curse of their terrible stories. The house consumed their lives, and the maniac fed on their fear and suffering. Eventually, they couldn't stand this horror and disappeared from this world leaving their souls trapped in this abandoned place. As the years passed, the gloomy house turned into a place that no one dared to approach. But fate brought a new family here, who did not know about the terrible story associated with this place. Father, mother and their little son moved to the city, hoping to start a new life. They decided to restore an abandoned house, unaware of its gloomy past life. At first everything seemed good. They were putting the house in order, rejoicing in a new beginning. But every night the terrible events began to repeat themselves. The walls of the house were moaning and crying, blood and fear filled his space. The little son felt the presence of something invisible that was waiting for him out of the darkness. At night he saw ghosts and heard their shrill screams. One day, waking up in complete darkness, he saw a gloomy silhouette cloud in the corner of the room like a maniac from a past story. He was scared to the point of trembling and screamed, but no one came to help. His mother and father simply did not hear his screams, as if their consciousness was immersed in a dream. The family became increasingly exhausted and depressed by the horrors of this place. But when they turned to the locals for help, they waved them off and said that this house was cursed and evil spirits lived in it. In despair, the father decided to explore the past of this place and find out what is hidden in its dark walls. He discovered that the house was built on the site of an old cemetery where criminal lunatics and criminals deprived of human dignity were once buried. Their torments and evil souls have turned this house into a gloomy place. It turned out that the maniac who committed terrible crimes in the past was just one of many spirits weaving their intrigues inside the house. He was one of the ghosts who held the souls of their victims captive. Every day the spirits became more aggressive and thirsty for revenge. They carried their malice on the living, hoping to capture their souls and make them their eternal prisoners. The family was trapped in this creepy house, which became a sinister prison for them. The little son, being sensitive to the world around him, 
began to see ghosts clearly and, in one terrible night, the little son, turned into an instrument of revenge, committed an irreparable horror. He attacked his parents, unrecognizable in his cruelty. Screams and groans swept through the house, reflect 